Hey everyone, Eve Klein here, and today we're starting a new video series that we'll be going into on Alpaca, which is a website that has an API for trading stocks with algorithms and you could build services, and this is all done through their commission-free stock trading API. And I found it really useful in order to either paper trade, which is using in essence fake money to trade and test your algorithms in real time so you can see how your algorithm is performing not just in back tests which are trust uh, testing it on historical data but also using it on the current market conditions which is really useful when you're trying out your new trading al algorithm for the first time and also the fact that once you're ready and you think your algorithm is ready for um, real trading with your own personal capital you can simply use the same API and just switch on to live trading instead of paper trading in order to actually use your money and put your and deploy your capital um, into your algorithm. So these two things make Alpaca very versatile, and I think it comes with great integrations and documentation to be able to get users up and running in no time. And this video, we're going to be looking at some of the features it has, and then in subsequent videos, we're going to be implementing a long short strategy um, in Python and running it through the paper trading. So now we're going to look into some of the features that Alpaca has for serving algo traders and quant funds. So like I said earlier, they provide commission-free API. So you can execute all these trades commission-free and not pay any extra fees on top of each trade that you do. So much like Robinhood, this is a commission-free trading platform. Another unique thing that you get for free is this real-time market data. And that's not usually very common for these free applications. And the fact that you can use that and essentially paper trade your algorithms in real time is a lot more beneficial than simply just backtesting. I believe the combination of backtesting and paper trading can lead to a much more thorough algorithm and allow you to have better results. So also some of the things would include margin and short selling. So I think they provide up to four times intraday margin. Um, so if you have $100,000 that you're going starting with, you can trade up to 400000 And their overnight margin positions are two times. So you could have up to 200000 if you have a 100000 base uh, capital allocation. And they also allow you to short sell stocks that you currently currently don't own, so you're betting that the stock price will go down rather than buying a stock to where you're betting on the fact that the price will go up. And their testing environment is very easy to use and really intuitive and they have great documentation. And also for people who are more adventurous and let's say entrepreneurial, they have business account support. So if you're starting up your own prop trading firm, which is the process of trading with your own capital or a hedge fund which is taking capital from outside investors then you can contact them and set up an account like that which is a really appealing thing if someone is looking to make a business in this industry okay so now that you've created your account uh, go ahead and log in and go to the dashboard if you click start paper trading which should be here you'll be dis displayed with this screen and it'll show your equity and buying power the equity should be 100k and your buying power is four times that, which is your margin rate, which should be 400,000. And so it'll give you some information here if you've entered some manual trades over here. So like today's profit at loss, I've been running a simple, the long short strategy that we'll be running in the future. And then you're going to click on view and see your API keys. And once you get those, we could actually start programming and we're going to dive into some code. Okay, so now that we've gone over the dashboard in Alpaca and you've retrieved your trees, your keys, we're going to be looking at some code. So the basics of our long short uh, equities algorithm. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using REPL.IT, which is an online, basically Python compiler and interpreter so that I could run code straight from my browser without having to install anything and this is able to install all dependencies needed right from the terminal. So it's perfect for this and you don't use any local resources or anything. And the first thing you'll see is importing the Alpaca trade API 
which is the Alpa the uh, trading API that Alpaca has graciously given us, and then a few other imports that we'll need later, but some things like threading and then some time metrics so we can keep track of when these trades are being placed. And you'll see there's an API key and then an API secret key, and those are two um, the, of the keys that you've got retrieved from your dashboard. And then the base URL is also present when you hit view keys. So um, the general structure of the algorithm is um, long short. And so you can see the general class of long short, then the initialization function, which defines a bunch of things. So this is from the Alpaca trade API, trade API which is the rest call. So it's going to use your API key, the secret key, and the base URL, so these three things, in order to make trading requests that are associated to your account in particular. So that's why you need these keys in order to associate these calls from our code to your account itself with your paper trading or live trading, whatever you're doing. And next we have the stock universe, which are the stocks that the algorithm will be looking into. So these include various different stocks you may know, um, Amazon, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Qualcomm, Apple, General Motors, Tesla, Twitter. So these are just a few that I've selected, and there's nothing in particular about them, just some that you may know, some that I've been looking at. And so we're just creating the stock universe. That's what they call it. So these are the equities that we are focusing on. You can make that anything you want it to be any equity listed on the exchanges in the United States or others. So now we're just appending it to the Alpaca API with the self.all stocks and for each stock in the stock universe we're appending it to the stock list. And so besides the initialization function there's the run method which, will, which is what will happen when the actual algorithm is executing. So we're going to look not to glance over some of the code just yet because that will be used when we're going into the actual code method itself and trying to dissect how we construct this long short equity which will be later in this video series. So then we have a function called waiting for the market open. So basically this is a clock that is printing things to the console when the market isn't open, time till open. Um, so you can see um, that if it's open, so the market's open between 9.30 a.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Eastern, and Alpaca actually lets you trade between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. because they have access to pre- and post-market data. So you can still place trades during those times, but anytime out of that, it will print you a message that says it's waiting for the market to open. Rebalance, the rebalance method as um, the name suggests this is rebalancing the positions in your portfolio. So you're taking either long or short positions, which is the essence of a long short algorithm. Some positions are long, which means you're betting that the stock price will increase. And some positions are short, meaning the stock, meaning your bet is the stock price will decrease. So we'll go all into this into a later video, but I just want you to see the general structure of this algorithm. And it may seem a bit complex, but once you dive into it, it's really not that bad. Um, so this is just sort of keeping track of the stocks we currently own or the stocks that we're shorting. And just handling any errors that may come up with the Alpaca API um, along the way. And re-ranking, um, this is adjusting based on the current prices, so you have to see how you're uh, long and short stocks are doing, and the amount of equity or the amount of stock you're selling or buying is based on how much you have, how much power, buying power you have, which is the initial capital, which is 100,000 for the case of paper trading, times your margin, which is four. Then they have the get total price function, which basically retrieves the total price of the stocks that you have, send batch order, so you're sending an order to the exchange, submitting an order, and these use some basic um, Alpaca API function that we'll be going into in the next few videos. So, but if we just examine this one real quick, we can see 
self data packet that submit order. So this is submitting an actual order to the exchange and it's taking in as input a stock ticker and then the quantity of amount of stock you wish to buy, the side, so either long or short, and then market, the, this, that's the type of order, a market order or a limit order. In this case, we're doing a market order, which is just buying the stock at the most recent sell price, and then day, so we're buying it intraday. And this is calculating some statistical analysis for us, so the percent changes in the stock that we've bought, in the last 10 minutes in the stock universe. So anytime you see self.all stocks, that's iterating through all the stocks we had in our universe. So this is the ranking mechanism, which is important um, because obviously as it says here, the higher is better. So it's ranking it by the percent has changed in the last 10 minutes. So we'll get into that more. Um, if you want to do some research before the next video, I would recommend looking into what a long short strategy does because that will be very helpful. And then at the end, we're just simply defining, initializing a class, long short, and then calling the run method, which is what we saw at the beginning with the def run. So then this is just going to execute and then wall true. So this is how the borders are placed forever until the program is stopped, as you can see here. This is just some examples of a run I had earlier, and they're ordering certain shares, and you can see what companies you're taking a long position in, what companies you're taking a short position in, and you can track it through the dashboard, which is displayed here, and it's doing quite well today. Today is a good trading day in general, so it's not surprising, but is just to show you that these methods do work to an extent and they can be profitable, which is always nice to see from an algorithm you wrote yourself. And it'll only be 327 lines of code in total to write a trading algorithm from, from scratch and be potentially profitable. So thank you guys and I hope you enjoy this series. And in the next few videos, we're gonna go and buy step by step into each of the functions and analyzing how we can build this algorithm and run it on Alpaca. Thank you.